YouTube, FSP here. Been a while since I've done a recorded video over here on the Preparedness Channel. This is going to be another reminder uh, about medical preps. Uh, I have made countless videos about prepping for medical situations. Uh, but, you know, people need reminders. Uh, so, first of, all, first of all, reference items. Books. Books are good. Uh, first aid manuals are good. The Survival Doctor. I know these are probably backwards, but the Survival Doctor's Complete Handbook. Uh, backyard Medicine. And that brings up another thing. Do you have the vodka you need stored up to, to make tinctures and stuff with? If you don't have that kind of stuff, be sure you're getting it. Uh, because if you don't have the vodka to make the tinctures with, this, this may not help you much. But yeah, backyard medicine. Little quick guides like this tiny first aid guide right here. Of course, they do have one uh, for survival as well. Uh, these are good to have, especially if things are happening quick around you. You lose, you know, you, you, what what do I do first? So much is happening, you forget what, what to do first. These are good for that. You can just take these, unfold them. They give you, you know, step one. Okay, assess the situation, uh, that type of thing. Step two, make sure, you know, you're not being shot at. Make sure you're not going to become injured. Things like that come in really handy. Uh, what about meds? Uh, so, step two. Or part two of this video, meds. Are you having? Uh, are you stocking up on your uh, your pain relievers? Okay, you're at your uh, fever reducers, that type of thing. Uh, got a big thing of uh, eight-hour arthritis pain relief. I have a rod in my leg, you know, so I deal with a lot of just daily dull aches and pains in my leg. What about allergy medicine? Do you need allergy medicine? Stock some up. I need allergy medicine. Uh, okay, I'm not affiliated in any way. I paid for this, I wanted one. But antibiotics, yes, there are pills in here. I'm not gonna let you see them because they have labels with my personal information on them. But uh, antibiotics, they can be a lifesaver. They can save you or your other family members. So they have a new one now called the Jace Max Pack or something like that. Look into that if you need one. I'm just bringing it up. I'm not saying you should or should not buy one. That's all up to you. You have a head, use it. Uh, equipment. You know, tourniquets, shears, uh Gloves. Do you have plenty of gloves? Nitrile, latex. Uh, get you a couple of five-gallon buckets and fill it up with gauze, okay? Rolled gauze. Here's a S-fold gauze for wound packing stuff. Uh, gauze comes in big rolls or small rolls and big rolls like this. Get you some 4 by 4 some 2 by 2s some 6 by 6s some 8 by 8s whatever, abdominal pads. Uh... Get you some quick clot. Get you some emergency trauma dressing or Israeli bandage, whatever you want to call that. Band-Aids. Uh, alcohol prep pads. Alcohol and peroxide. That's going to be important. Make sure you're uh, acquiring your medical preps because it's going to be the difference between life and death uh, in, a, in a true SHTF emergency when you can't go to the store. Things like this are going to they're going to they're gonna be the difference between death and survival, okay? So, I uh, wanted to bring that to you. Uh, honey also is another good thing to stock. Yes, you can eat it as well. But honey has medicinal properties, uh, antibacterial properties uh, as well. So, as far as topical goes. So, wanted to bring these to you. Uh, be sure you're stocking your medical preps, okay? Uh, again, just a friendly reminder, do the things, okay? Stay strapped. Keep your situational awareness up. Uh, this is Monday, 
So this will come out after the live. Live is tomorrow. So, uh, but make sure you get your medical preps the way you need to. Uh, anything that you're taking, uh, make sure you got a stockpile of it if possible. This is Farmer Sun Prepping, and we'll check y'all later.